Okay, brother, let's move on. And uh, now we want to talk about repentance. And there are actually two types of repentance we want to discuss. Yeah, and I want to discuss the first type of repentance here. Repentance when um, it pertains to salvation. Okay, so uh, Luke, uh, repentance when it pertains to salvation does not mean one must repent from all sin, forsake all sin in order to be saved. Because Luke, who has done that? Huh. I can't think of anybody who's done it. I mean, I, I, I have to confess that uh, after I got saved, I, I haven't been able to completely stop sinning. And, uh, you know, I don't think you have that. Either. Absolutely not. Well, I, I, none of the people I know have. Uh, I guess the best example to prove the point would be the Apostle Paul. <laughs> How many people think the Apostle Paul was the greatest apostle, maybe the greatest Christian in history, and yet the Apostle Paul wrote. I know I should do this thing, but I don't do it. <laughs> and I know I'm not supposed to do that, and yet I do it. Oh, wretched man that I am. See, even the Apostle Paul, after he became a Christian, he was not able to completely stop sinning. Jesus said the spirit is one, but the flesh is weak. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is what some people uh, believe. This is what... They're teaching, it's on the back of their gospel tracts, that you need to forsake all your sin for you to be saved. You need to turn from all your sin to be saved. I mean, it's ludicrous, Luke. It's I, absolutely ludicrous. I, I, I've seen so many biblical tracts, and I've heard so many preachers saying that you, you need to stop sinning and, and then turn to Jesus. In other words, that's the first step. You've got to stop sinning. And it's, uh, that's a lie. That's a work salvation. I mean, and for you to say that you you, you have, you, you're lying. Anybody who's preaching that, I think that they are uh, uh, self-righteous and hypocrites. Because they, they haven't done what they're telling other people to do. Um, the word repentance um, was translated from the Greek word metanoia, which is talking about one having a change of mind. The Bible is talking about repentance when pertaining to salvation. It is talking about a change of mind. Um, so, repentance is a change of mind, a change of thinking about the only way I'm going to be saved, which is by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. But, but I've heard people preach saying that you have to change your mind about sin. Uh, the, the, the scripture says, what must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus so, Christ. We know the word repent literally means change your mind. Okay, But what are we changing our mind about? Are, do we have to change our mind about sin? Or are we changing our, about, our mind about the way to get saved? The way to be, get saved is we have to admit, and we have to come to the understanding that we're a sinner, and we can't save ourselves through any religion or any uh, righteous acts that we can do. We have to accept that we're a sinner and we need the Savior, Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of our sins. When we come to that understanding, that's the change of mind, the repentance that, come, that saves us. Period. Um, uh, you, you're repenting of your unbelief to belief. Um, you need to repent of the sin, singular, of unbelief, um, and you need to truly trust Jesus Christ as your Savior. That's that's an excellent way of saying it. The, repent of the sin of unbelief, uh, because we can't repent of all of our sins anyway. We we are not able to stop sinning before we get saved, and in fact, we're not even able to stop sinning after we get saved. So we need to uh, just resolve this one sin problem. Stop believing the old way, the old religion, and the old uh, things we believe, and now come to this new understanding and belief that we are a sinner and we need Jesus Christ. He is the way. When we believe that, that's a new belief, and then we're saved. Amen. Um, so when someone believes the gospel, he's repenting of his unbelief, and when he does that, he is saved. I mean, the Bible says, what must I do to be saved? It's a question. Yeah. And the Bible answers its own question. That's a great way of saying it. Uh, when we believe on Jesus, we have repented. Amen. We've become to a new belief. 
uh, and uh, and uh, that changed their mind. Amen. So the only repentance necessary for salvation is a repentance from unbelief um, to belief. So um, what I want to uh, talk about here, um, there's two types of repentance in the Bible. There's a repentance for the lost, which we've been just talking about. And there's a repentance for the saved. The repentance for the lost, which we've been just talking about, is a repentance from unbelief to belief. To believing on Jesus. Now, the other type of repentance, would you want to... Uh, well, I'll, 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 I'll mention uh, just a couple of things on that. Uh, I'll go into more detail on this later. The repentance but, for the saved. Yeah. So, Frank, you're saved. When did you get saved? When I trusted Christ as my Do you remember roughly when that was, what year? About nine, when I was 19 years old. Okay, when you're 19 years old, you went from unbelief to believing on Jesus, and you got saved. Now, since that time, though, you have committed some sins. Absolutely. Okay. And, uh, and after you were saved, you still sinned. Now you need to repent not to get saved, because you're already saved. You need to repent just to restore your relationship with the Lord. As simple as that is, we need to continually go to the Lord when we sin, and just say, "I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I need to get right with you again." And, uh, uh, and and He is faithful; He'll forgive us. But our sins are forgiven, past, present, and future, because of trusting Jesus Christ. But just to restore our relationship, we need to go back and continually repent as we sin. In the next video, we'll talk about the dangers of believing the false gospel that you must turn from all your sins to be saved. Okay, that's good.